Good afternoon, professor and classmates. I am here today to explain to you the importance of getting your graduate degree. My name is Scarlett Torres. How do you feel when you send out over a hundred resumes and the feedback that you get back is you don't qualify. We went with somebody that has more education, so on and so forth. Your four years of undergrad degree almost seem a little bit in vain. I am here to convince you guys the importance of earning a graduate degree, the steps to take on getting information to facilitate your path on your career and concentration, the differences in pay and the differences of opportunity when it is when it comes to competing with those that have bachelor's degrees and those that have a master's degree. Everyone in this room is on their way of completion to their undergrad degree. Wondering what are the next steps? Should I spend more time and money on a master's? I'm going education not only benefits you as a person, it distinguishes you from the sea of people that did not obtain a graduate degree and do not uphold your expertise in your field of concentration. Education is the only intangible skill that no one can dispute or take away from you. Today I would like to talk to you about the need for earning your graduate degree. How can you facilitate the information needed to structure your path virtually debt-free? Statistics show that market for a bachelor's degree is exhausted and in completion and in competition drops by 50% if you are in your master's degree. Petit BJ and Leach 2016 Beyond a Bachelor's Journal of Black Studies states that there is no incentive and lack of incentive to promote the importance of continuing education with minorities, although it is slowly declining. Yes, a graduate degree is expensive, sometimes two to three times more expensive than a bachelor's degree, but there are options. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world by Nelson Mandela. I'm sure that you can see the need for people like you and I to get a graduate degree. The majority of this class has made up their mind whether to continue school or just take a hike after their bachelor's degree. But you might ask yourself, is getting in debt worth it? Well, there are many ways to earn a master's degree without getting yourself into major debt. This is how you can go about making sure you can earn a degree without any debt. Join a dual program where you can earn your bachelor's alongside with your master's degree. Many government jobs offer tuition aid. The Board of Education also offers a substantial amount of tuition aid. There's also grants that you do not have to pay back. And lastly, there are loans. You have to sit down, make a plan, sit and reflect what it is that you want for your future and the concentration of your degree. Earning a graduation, earning, earning a graduate degree will set you apart. There is 50% less competition when you're applying for a job for a master's degree. Set an appointment with a counselor or the head of the department of your major. Find information on the concentration of your career path. This will help you have a clear path on what to do, loans, grants, jobs. You can see it is not difficult to obtain information. Learning clear, concise career paths and financial help will help you obtain the knowledge on difference and pay and, and opportunities. For example, earnings and unemployment rates by education, attainment 2015, a doctorate's degree, 1623 a week,
professional degree, $17.30 a week. A master's degree, $13.41 a week. A bachelor's degree, $1,100. An associate's degree, $7.98 a week. Some college and no degree, $7.38. High school diploma, $6.78. Less than a high school, about $493 a week. Here is the total competition when it comes to when earning a bachelor's degree. The orange is highlighted. The master's degree is cut down by 50% and a doctor's degree, there's very little competition in this field. There is a pyramid scheme here where the bachelor's degree is the one that is the largest because it's the one that most people obtain. As it gets higher, the percentage also gets lower. You can see it is not difficult to obtain information on what you would like to proceed in when it comes to your future. A bachelor's degree over a lifetime will earn you about $2 million. When you obtain your master's degree over a lifetime, you will earn about $2.5 million. The difference is about four to $500 a week. Sit back, think, and reflect about that for a second. An extra four to five hundred dollars a week. What can you do with an additional four to five hundred dollars a week? That's almost two thousand dollars in one month. You can buy a new car. You can pay your mortgage. You can get out of debt. You can have a pretty substantial amount of money saved in your bank. You can invest in your retirement. You can invest in a better future. Lauren Cook, how to stop worrying and pursue a graduate degree. She states, pursuing a graduate degree while full-time work is very difficult, although there are options. It's almost virtually impossible when you also have to travel in your job. There's online classes. She also states that with a family, she says that there's many people that are able to complete a master's degree, although she has no idea how. I have been reminded of why we do this, why we do this work, because we believe in the future of the mind and the value of education, she states. Today's economy is demanding professionals with higher levels of education. Master's degree enrollment in the U.S. have grown by 35%. The problem arises when you do nothing knowing you're in a rat race of competition with a sea of people that have your exact same degree or the same level of education when it comes to a bachelor's. Now, cut that by half and you have your master's. You're competing with a lot less people. You are in your field of concentration and what you would like in a career concise path. You are what's standing between you and your success. If you're doing now, if you're doing now your bachelor's, why not invest in your future as well? I've told you about the need for continuing education, the steps to, on getting information, income potentials. Only you can dictate how far you are willing to go. Is there anything stopping you from making that decision? Is there any excuse or any valid excuse? I have a home, a husband, two kids, and I'm making it happen. I've made the decision. Is there really any excuse for you? If you can make it and you can dream it, if you can achieve it, you can do it. I'm going to leave you with a short quote from Malcolm X. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Thank you for listening. My name is Scarlett Torres, and I hope that I have sufficiently convinced you on the importance of earning a master's degree. Thank you.